Hello everyone and welcome back to Galactic Spots, our 101 Dalmatians side story set in space with our half-alien, half-sim child Lyra, who has just found a wild macaw? Hello, this is amazing! Alright, well welcome back everybody. Well, if you remember last time, Suas uh, actually blasted her brain to pieces more or less, and don't you dare go home, Suas. You turn that car, that space car, right around and we are going to send her back because Suas has finally recovered covered her brain power. She completely emptied all of her alien powers into summoning a meteor and it was the coolest thing I have seen. It was amazing. I loved it. And she was kind of doing it to show off and show a secret alien skill to Lyra. And I'm sure that they know that aliens can summon them, but I bet they have a lot of strong opinions about aliens, uh, aliens summoning meteors um, in the Lunar Lake society and in any, any decent society really. But this looks like a good testing ground for it since it looks like a whole bunch of other meteors have already come and uh, we're over here because Lyra actually saw a meteor fall to the ground when she was searching for stars last night trying to find some more stars that's one of her hobbies is discovering stars and so when they got here and collected up the big meteor Lyra gave it to her mother Suas as a gift and Suas showed her her meteor summoning powers as a, uh, a way to share a secret with her daughter which was really cool and now now we're going to actually benefit from it. It wasn't completely altruistic at sharing that secret after all, since Suas wants to make sure she can have tons of money. So now we are going to be collecting up all of these beautiful space rocks and taking them home to make buku bucks with and hopefully be able to get some of the high technology special items that Suas really wants, like a jetpack, a food synthesizer, a wind carver, a good plumb bot, and hopefully get enough money that we can justify going into the future, because if you don't notice, we're only up by one whole Simalonian right now. Suas basically got robbed by space pirates on our way to Lunar Lakes. It was pretty epic. It was pretty awesome. Ooh, there's a little piece right over here. Man, that's so cool. Okay, we might have to come over here and summon meteors more often because this is, this is going to be extremely lucrative. All right, meanwhile, Lyra... While her mother was checked out, having emptied her brain power summoning meter meteors, started chasing down a wild horse who spoke to her. Since we hit the horse with the meteor, it was a little eventful, but we've decided that it is a psychic kind of horse that can actually speak through tele uh, tele telepathy. Telepathy? Huh. Telepathy? Telepathy. There we go. I think that's how you would say it, but we're going to say that it's a telepathic horse and it was speaking to Lyra like, whoa, watch what you're doing. And she had to chase after that horse after it spoke to her. That's just way too cool. So that's how we managed to find ourselves all the way up inside of one of the big craters. And thankfully for Lyra, this is a very, very rich and uh, abundant crater full of all sorts of plants because she needs to get some food and also full of all sorts of interesting wildlife that has been imported from Earth and other alien places nearby. So she gets to see all sorts of cool things. We're coming on up and she gets to see the macaw who's just like busy dancing at her feet, the gold blue macaw. I think because she's a child, she can't actually collect it. But a second ago, I saw some nanites. I don't see them now, but I do see this woman right here, Paige Musqui. And ooh, oh, there's a stone. Okay, yeah, there's lots of stuff to collect around here. So we could possibly like introduce ourselves. Oh, because she's a loner though, she doesn't want to do that. Okay, noted, noted. Talk about the heat. Um, I think what we'll do, and then there's the wild horses, by the way. They hang out at this little hot springs. So we're gonna say that the wild horses here actually are considered to be citizens, and this hot springs is kind of like their territory. But they're alien citizens, and they're not like horses on Earth. They are uh, telepathic horses. And and they can speak, they have their own civilization. They just choose to like keep this very simple form. They think all the clothes are ridiculous and this is their spot. And they have a fall somewhere nearby that Lyra actually wants to become friends with, which I think would be really cool. So eventually we'll find that fall. I'm sure it's hiding around here somewhere. Who are these people? Uh, they're busy flirting. Anise and uh, Mr. Tom Joy. Oh my goodness, they are busy flirting. I don't even know who they are. I love how in Sims 3 you can just like watch all of the townies have a life like that. Uh, let's see, there's an unknown rare seed, so let's go pick it up. But Lyra's getting hungry and she also has to use the restroom. So I think out of her desperation to use the restroom, we might stop off at somebody's house pretty soon. But I think if I look around, there was a garden that she saw. I think maybe it was over here. She did see a garden and it did look like it had, there it is. It has some delicious 
apple trees over here and i think that she wants some apples because she's hungry herself but also because she is hoping that she can use the apples to lure that young foal who can speak with her mentally uh which may be related to her alien abilities so that adds to the pile of things that she'll want to analyze her own dna for in the future but we're gonna have her come over and harvest this and kind of steal some apples out of somebody's space yard in just a moment here all right, so let's see. And maybe we'll find like a bathroom. I wish there was some sort of bathroom nearby, but I don't think they have public restrooms here. And we definitely need to get her. Oh, there's the foal. All right, tiny space rock check. And we definitely need to get Lyra a um, a jetpack. I think Suas would think that Lyra's earned a jetpack because A, Suas loves high technology stuff. And B, uh, Lyra is actually the one who found the first of the two meteors. So gigantic space rock. Yes, 3,000. 3,000 Simulonians. That's definitely going to help us out. All right, so we're going to come over to this person's house. All right, large space rocks. And we're going to steal one of their apples right out of their yard and this would feel totally natural to lyra because she grew up in fact she might really love this home because she grew up on a farm and she grew up helping to take care of uh helping to take care of crops and things like this oh and is there a restroom nearby that she can use let's see what she does so she's gonna harvest this all right she harvested the apple tree the produce can be found in her inventory wonderful well she's done with the harvest and where's the restroom nearby that she can use? Is she going to go in someone's house? I think she is going to sneak into somebody's house. Oh my gosh, we are! I don't think I've ever snuck into someone's house before. Wow! So I think she would consider this just like trying to solve her own problems. But she might be a little curious. Like, can she do anything with some of this stuff? No interactions available. Interesting. Interesting. So she did sneak into someone's house. I wonder, do they have any food in here? No, no food in here. Is this an occupied home? Does anyone live there? Who knows? Lyra, look at you, you sneaky girl. So she has snuck into somebody else's home. That's so not like her, but we'll go ahead and let her eat one of the apples. There you go, sweetie. So she's going to just like be hiding inside of their bathroom, eating their apples. And then we might let her go ahead, view their room a little bit. Maybe even take a shower here. I don't think she'd be sneaky enough to like set traps for anybody. But I think that she would think it's cool to just like sneak around. It's almost like her own little way of rebelling. Can she shower in the shower? Let's see. Yeah, look at that. All right, so we've snuck into somebody else's house. Maybe no one actually lives here and this would end up becoming, uh, oh, she's, she's too nervous, so she stopped. Come on, you can take a shower. You can do it. Let's get that hygiene skill up. If she's too nervous, we'll send her home in a second. But I like that she's, yeah, she's too nervous to, to like, steal more. So I think we'll have her snag a few more apples from another tree. Uh, because she really loves eating apples and she loves the apples so much more the apples and are there any strawberries? I think she loves strawberries. What's her favorite food? Egg rolls actually so it's not like fresh fruits and veggies are, are her favorite thing in the world But I think she definitely would let's see lettuce plant She would steal a little bit of it because she is so tired of those protein yogurts that she has to eat back at home all right, and Suas, let's see what you're doing. Prepare canned soup. Oh, look at that. She's trying to become, she's probably like noticing Lyra's missing and thinking that Lyra tried walking home while she was in a trance and that that's why she should definitely get some jetpacks for Lyra. But she's actually trying to prepare some food for once. No, I, I take it back. She just literally opened a, a cold can of soup and dumped it into a bowl. They definitely need to get themselves a cooker plumbot. All right, speaking of which, we will go ahead and this very happy, very tranquil uh, consume a space rock, delicious and nutritious way to replace vital brain energy. All right, I think she has an appetite for space rocks and that's hilarious. I didn't know she could have an appetite for space rocks. Uh, unfortunately, that's so low on her list of things that she wants to do that I'm not gonna put it into anything just yet, but let's see. All right, so what am I going to do with you, Suas? 
I want to get her a Plumbot, and I want to get her some Nanites. So I think I will go ahead. We've got two space rocks. If we analyze them, they might be worth more or they might be worth less. So let's risk analyzing the small or the like one that's less valued of the two. We can always summon another meteor apparently. All right. And then we'll buy a jetpack and we'll buy, oh, let's see if we can find the food synthesizer. That would make me very, very happy because I think that she would not have been very impressed by her very nasty suas. Whoa, oh yes, look at that. The space rock is to be a chassinite worth about 4,000 simolonians. That's a lot more. Okay, suas, you like reset yourself, my dear. You can't join, okay, there we go. There we go. And the ice cream truck showed up when you reset yourself. I feel like maybe secretly the government who takes care of Lunar Lakes keeps some uh, like keeps some people in the ice cream truck and the ice cream truck is actually secretly surveying the entire colony. That's my new guess about what the ice cream truck is doing. Uh, and her brain power is really low actually. So you know what? We'll take away travel into the future just for a second because I can't really do that just yet since they are so low on funds and we'll let her consume one of these small space rocks. All right, there you go. Man, that's so cool. I absolutely love that. That is so cool. All right, so what to do with these other... The We are not going to pay attention to that full moon. I swear, if zombies start showing up, I'm going to have some words. All right, and then Lyra is going to start heading home. We want her to head this way. Suas is going to blame her daughter taking forever to get back on not having jetpacks. So let's get some jetpacks, guys. We analyzed uh, one of the gigantic space rocks. So let's go ahead and sell it now. Dun, 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 dun. So much money. And Suas wants to buy a new bookshelf, which is really funny. All right, let's see if I can find um, jetpacks first because jetpacks seem like they're the coolest. And I want to see if I can give a jetpack to Lyra. I don't think I can, but you know, it wouldn't hurt to look. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. There's the gyroscope conductor, the sim life goggles. We have the arcade table, whole bunch of arcade tables. So I don't think they're going to be in here. So then I think it's going to be under hobbies. So let's go to entertainment, miscellaneous, jetpack perhaps, jetpack. Oh, there we go, jetpack. All right, is this the most expensive jetpack we can buy? This is a fire pit. This is the soothsayer crystal ball. This is another multi-tab. This is a jetpack. There we go. And we, you know what? We need a second multi-tab for Suas. So we'll go ahead and get her one. So now they'll both have personal jetpacks. Now they have a multi-tab. Suas is probably thrilled to pieces because she finally has a little bit of money. She doesn't really want wealth. She just wants all of that high and rare technology. And unfortunately that does require a little bit of funding. So let's see, would it be under electronics? Let's try appliances, miscellaneous appliances. Probably a very expensive miscellaneous appliance. Okay, so this is the non-organic charging station. And we would need that for a plumb bot. So we're gonna need that for a plumb bot. Should we buy it now? How much is it? Let's check. Come here. Oh, it's only 700. Yeah, we'll go ahead and buy it now because Suas is going to be getting ready for that plumb bot nanny to be showing up. And then small appliances. Let's see. Hot drink. Where oh where? Beverage maker. Aromatic hot beverage machine the drink synthesizer. So would it be a large appliance maybe? Let's see. Wait, what was that? Food forge cuisine synthesizer. We live in a busy world, so there's often not time for, to cook and most snack food is unhealthy. Food synthesizers bridge the gap with full delicious meals on instant offerings. Yes, advanced technology. Okay, so there is the food synthesizer. We need to sell the other space rock in order to make up the difference. Should I risk analyzing it? Cause it could give us a little bit more money. I'm gonna think about it. Oh, she wants to fly around. That is so cool. And that will actually help her improve her, um, her advanced technology skill. So let's give her those. Should I analyze the giant space rock? On the off chance, I mean, it could give us a lot more money. Uh, okay, we're gonna analyze it just on the risk. I hope that it's gonna be worth more money. All right, come on. And, oh my gosh, that's a lot more money. 
<laughs> That's so much more money. So it is an architectrite, uh, and it is worth 6,000. So we like almost doubled the amount of Simlonians we got. That is so cool. So help me. I heard you, Mr. Zombie. No, no, I turned you off. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go. <laughs> We're not having this happen. You're out of here. You're just immediately deleted. So zombies shouldn't be happening. I'm gonna have to triple, triple, triple check that uh, with a mod and everything. But come on, no, nah. we're, we're we could call them radio radioactive victims, but they're not zombies. Not here, not now. All right. So let's see. Now I want that food synthesizer, and I'm gonna have to figure out what the heck the wind turbine is all about. But let's find the food synthesizer. So excited. So excited. We're gonna have synthetic food. Ooh, that's a cool vending machine. All right, so there we go. Classic cuisine, food synthesizer. I wanna change the color of it just a bit to kind of blend in with everything else. Hey, did you change your color? Okay, gotta wait a second. Let's do this one, there we go. Man, I forget how cool creative uh, style it can be because it's been so long since I've had it there we go, since Sims 4 doesn't, but that's fine. Every Each one of them has something different. We have a food synthesizer, yes! Oh my gosh, gourmet pet food. Program a new recipe, and then we can program all of these fancy, ooh, a nutritional cube, interesting. So we can program fruity bobs, and then we can serve dinner. <gasps> dun, 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 dun! Yeah, I think that Suas would be quite proud of herself. Quite proud indeed. She's actually hungry now. So let's go ahead and we're gonna serve a fancy dinner because I feel like she'd be really, really proud. In fact, what's Suas's favorite food? We're gonna serve, oh my gosh, her favorite food is egg rolls. They have their f the favorite food is the same thing. Dang it. Like, they don't hate each other, but like it definitely is a very strained uh, parent, alien, child relationship that they've got going on. But uh, I really hope Lyra will want to go back to Earth after all this cool stuff. This is just getting like more and more and more interesting. So let's see. I wish you could like toggle my favorite food. That would be really cool. So I need to find where, oh, where? Egg rolls. Let's make synthesized egg rolls. This is going to be so cool. Suess is going to be so proud. And I think she's going to be so surprised when it turns out that Lyra's favorite food is also egg rolls. Also, poor Lyra is like having to really hoof it to get all the way back home. How does that work? Ew. She got sprayed down with all of the, the oil, but at least there's a gigantic plate of egg rolls, just like that. Bad quality. No. All right, let's clean that up and try again. It's not like it's gonna, it's not like gonna hurt anything to try again, right? All right, let's try again. Maybe it gets better the higher your your technology scale. There we go. Normal quality. Perfect. Wonderful. Where the heck is Lyra? Now is about the point where I think Sue asked. Poor Lyra is probably exhausted <laughs> on this bike. She's probably going to be very happy to come home and have her very own jetpack. Are you kidding me? I hope that kids can use jetpacks. That would kind of be a pity if they can't, but I understand if they can't. But I think Sue asked would be like, oh, don't worry about it. You can use it when you're older. All right. So we'll have Sue asked go ahead and grab a plate. She's going to settle in. We've got quite a bit more funds, so she's going to feel more comfortable about being able to start buying the technology pieces that she really wants, working on building a quality plumb bot, being able to save up so we can go into the future and maybe have a home of our own and start building up a home at basically what we're going to consider not the future, but another planet. So she likes to have multiple planetary locations that she invests in. I have zombies turned off. Thank you very much. I have this wonky donkey lighting turned off. Thank you very much. So I'm gonna have to fix those things, but we'll worry about it later. All right, there you go. Lyra, look at that. Your alien mother has provided you your favorite food. And Suas is off to go check out the new objects. And Lyra has her favorite food to eat. And I think that she's gonna be unexpectedly charmed by that. I mean, today she got to watch her mother summon a meteor from the sky. She got to listen to a telepathic talking horse and find out like this beautiful oasis inside of the craters up in the top of the, the old extinct volcanoes are up there. And now she gets some of her favorite food after having to eat nasty, disgusting protein yogurt for so many days. 
and she gets her own jetpack. So I think Lyra is a little overwhelmed at how cool her day has gotten and a little maybe secretly somewhere inside distressed at how she's almost forgotten to go look at the stars or think about home all day long. So, hmm. All right, can you use that jetpack, Kidlet? She can give a gift versus her mom has the jetpack. Ah, I can start using it. All right, so she can't use the jetpack yet, but she's been giving it as a gift for when she becomes a teenager. So there we go. Wow, there's a lot going on. Hunger resolved. She ate some synthesi synthesized food, which was both delicious and unusually filling. She won't be hungry for a very long time. Wonderful, wonderful. And we can actually, now that we have the multi-tab, start listening to Tabcast, Advanced Technology, and now whatever Suas is doing, she's going to have her Advanced Technology skill building in the background. And I think that she would start giving the Tabcast to Lyra to build up her logic skill and other skills too. Since that's what you do in the future, you gotta be more efficient. That's what it's all about. Oh, and we can actually, oh, scan, oh my goodness. And we can't, Oh, oh, Lyra counts as an alien. I wonder if she's going to come into her alien powers when she becomes a teenager. <gasps> and then will she feel like she even can go back home? Or will she feel so different from her family back on the ranch then? Oh my goodness. One thing after another, after another. And now I'm going to have uh, Sue S just casually enthuse about some dogs. I think that we're not quite where Sue S would be comfortable with adding in a dog. She's got to work on rebuilding her wealth and getting a new ship and getting her home at Oasis Springs back together. But uh, we're definitely we're definitely clipping along. I'm pretty excited. But all right, guys, next time we're going to continue to try to gather up the last of the high collector pieces. We probably want to get those pieces here and also at our home in Oasis Springs. And we'll travel to the future pretty soon, I think. And again, we're going to say it's not the future. It's just like maybe the solar system is nicknamed the future. And it's actually just the Oasis Springs solar system so we're gonna go and pop over there pretty soon uh i just want to get like all it makes sense to me to have like all of those high technology pieces here and to have lyra kind of settled in a little bit so we're going to we're going to go ahead and let her have a have a bit of a rest i mean it's been an amazing day i am really loving this so much and i can't wait to share more of their story with you guys next time so i'll see you then Bye bye